Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the lymphatic drainage of the breast and um, we are also going to draw the entire lymphatic drainage. So um, I've already drawn the humerus out here and the um, clavicle and the sternum so I'm just going to retrace them for you. This is the sternum, the clavicle and the humerus. Um, the lymph nodes in the breast are actually commonly described in relationship to two structures and one of them is the pectoralis minor muscle which I'm drawing out here and um, this is the nipple and the second structure is uh, the axillary vein so I'm just gonna draw it out here and for the sake of completion I'm just gonna draw the arm and um, yeah so uh, lymph nodes in the breast are very important to know because um, they are most commonly involved in carcinoma of the breast so um, I'm gonna talk about the lymph nodes in relationship to the cancer of the breast and the first group of lymph nodes that I'm gonna be talking about is the anterior group of lymph nodes so I'm gonna draw them out here and the anterior group of lymph nodes are most commonly involved in breast cancers. They are also known as the pectoral group of lymph nodes or the external mammary group of lymph nodes. And they lie uh, in relationship to the lateral thoracic vessels. And if you don't know what the lateral thoracic vessel is, it's actually a, a vessel that supplies the breast and it's actually a branch of the axillary vein. The second group of lymph nodes that I'm going to be talking about is the central group of lymph nodes because they are also commonly involved in carcinoma of the breast. The central group of lymph nodes lie deep to the pectoralis minor muscle so you want to make sure you're drawing it around like below the pectoralis minor muscle and they're actually very easily palpable clinically so that makes them very important the third group that i'm going to be talking about is the lateral group of lymph nodes and they lie along the axillary vein near the humerus so this is the axillary vein and I'm drawing the lateral group out here. These are rarely involved in breast cancer. And then there is the posterior group of the, or the subscapular group of lymph nodes. The posterior group is also rarely involved in breast cancer. And the last group of lymph nodes I'm going to be talking about is the apical group of lymph nodes. Um, you have to be um, careful in drawing the apical lymph nodes. They are below the clavicle, they are subclavicular and they lie medial to the axillary vein. So I was about to draw it um, lateral to the axillary vein by mistake. They lie uh, medial to the axillary vein and they lie above the pectoralis minor muscle so that is the apical group of lymph nodes and um, the medial half of the breast actually drains into the second and third intercostal space or um, internal mammary lymph nodes and they are actually situated retro -sternally. so I'm going to draw them out here. And that's another um, group of lymph nodes that you are supposed to know. And um, well there are levels of lymph nodes that are described and um, these are known as Berg's levels, levels of axillary lymph nodes. I'm going to use another color for that. Berg's levels and there are three levels the first level is um, the lymph nodes that lie lateral 
and below the pectoralis minor muscle so you're gonna look out for lymph nodes that you drew lateral and below the pectoralis minor muscle and these are the posterior group of lymph nodes the anterior group of lymph nodes and the lateral group of lymph nodes so um, level 1 I actually write it as PAL because it's easy to remember you know posterior anterior and lateral because of the starting alphabets the second level of lymph nodes uh, lie behind the pectoralis minor muscle and we've drawn only one lymph node that lies behind the pectoralis minor muscle and that is the central group of lymph nodes so that is level 2 and the third level of lymph nodes are the ones which lie above and medial to the um, pectoralis minor muscle and we've drawn only one lymph node group of lymph nodes out there and they are known as the apical group of lymph nodes so they are level 3 and um, apical group of lymph nodes are also called as Holstead nodes or um, subclavicular nodes and um, that's all I hope you had fun learning and see you in the next video stay awesome